Also breaking at five, a verdict in the high-profile sex trafficking trial of Tony Lazaro. He's the wealthy former GOP operative accused of recruiting teenage girls for sex. Lou Raguse has covered the case from the very beginning, joins us now live from the federal courthouse in Minneapolis. And Lauren, the jury found Tony Lazaro guilty on all counts. And it didn't take them long, only about two and a half hours of deliberation. So that's guilty on conspiracy to commit sex trafficking of a minor and guilty on five counts of sex trafficking of a minor. In closing arguments, prosecutors told the jury Lazaro treated the five victims as objects to him that he bought, consumed, then threw away. Lazaro paid an 18-year-old, Gisela Castro Medina, to recruit teenage girls to have sex with him. Lazaro's attorneys argued that Lazaro's sex with the 15-year-old and four 16-year-olds was not sex trafficking based on how the law is worded since the girls were willing participants. But prosecutors said minors simply cannot consent to commercial sex, which is what this was. The prosecutors spoke at a press conference after the verdict. This case came about when a concerned mom saw something that didn't add up. Her daughter had a new and expensive iPhone, Unexplained cash was deposited into their joint bank account, and there were behavioral changes. She reached out and learned more about sex trafficking from an anti-trafficking organization here in Minnesota. Then she had a difficult conversation with her daughter, but was armed with the information to take this to the FBI. And so the prosecutors were very thankful for that alert mother who helped crack this case. And they said they hope the details from this trial serves as edu education to other parents about this new face of sex trafficking. Several victims and their families were in the courtroom for a verdict, some of them crying and nodding along as the verdict was read, Lazaro shaking his head as the verdict was read. He will be sentenced, and it's difficult in federal court to predict what the sentence will be. I talked with one expert, a legal expert, who has a lot of experience in federal court. He predicted at a minimum that Lazaro could be sentenced to 15 to 24 years, but likely much more than that. That will come at a later date. Back to you.